guys it is me life simmer and welcome back to the sims 3 pets lp part 42 i'm pretty sure um okay so in the last part bailey and oliver got married and i thought as possibly a wedding gift that bailey will get some plastic surgery now for those who don't know plastic surgery actually came with pets um why i don't know why it didn't come with like late night or showtime beyond me but it came with pets and um pretty much you go to the hospital and you have four options you have cheap facial reconstruction or expensive you have cheap body modification and expensive body modification so you can take the risk and you know pay a little bit less or you can pay a little bit more and have a greater chance of the surgery going well i thought it would be really really fun maybe you know bailey can get some bigger boobies or uh, we could give her a nose job but i am definitely going to do it because it did come with uh, pets uh the expansion pack itself so it would be really fun to go ahead and do that also we need to go ahead and continue uh, teaching Captain some uh, tricks. Uh, he was in the middle of learning and he actually has fleas. You can see them on him jumping all around. And uh, Miss Cotton over here uh, needs to continue her hunting skill because we kind of stopped teaching her how to hunt and we definitely need to continue doing that. So yeah, there is uh, quite a few things I want to do in this part. And um, oh, also... Friggin' Rose being the little asshole she did. Oh, I went ahead and added in this um, this watering station that came with the green throw greenhouse. Uh, pretty much it waters your plants. And you also get the option to um, go ahead and if you find a mysterious seed, like right here, the unknown rare seed. Andy's going to come pick it up. He can um, go right here and actually kind of figure out what it is. So that's pretty cool. I pretty much, oh, a long, 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 long time ago, I actually did a review on this. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, but if you want to go watch that, that is available. But I was saying that um, we had a strawberry plant right here, and Rose ate it. So yeah, we're going to have to be careful with that, because Rose will definitely eat it, and I don't want that. So Andy's going to come over here and pick up this little seed uh, that we don't know what it is, um, and kind of see what's up with it. We're going to identify some seeds. Shall we? <laughs> so here he is kind of looking at them like with a magnifying glass uh, as he was a little detective. And he just identified all the seeds in his inventory. Okay, so where are they? Plasma fruit seed. That's pretty cool. Um, Kona bead. Kona bean seed and some I think that's all there was I think that's all we have plasma fruit is pretty cool but we don't have any vampires so at the same time it's not that cool um we're gonna go ahead and have him tend his garden and actually harvest it we have some harvest wolves that's uh that's exciting um so let's go ahead and have miss bailey right now she's going through a midlife crisis for those who couldn't tell uh we're gonna have her go ahead and um it is 3 p.m it's a friday perfect time to go get some plastic surgery right um what is this actually what is this um i don't know what is it <laughs> i'm curious to know i know but there's an opportunity oh best in show competition um, we might do that once uh, we go ahead and, um, you know, Captain knows more tricks. But we are going to go ahead and head to the hospital right here. And we're going to get some plastic surgery. We are going to go ahead and get the expensive, expensive, what? The expensive facial beautification because we do not want to, you know, cheap out on our face. Uh, we'll cheap out on the body because we're going to go with the double whammy today and get some uh, extreme extreme facial modifications well not her face but you know what i mean we're gonna we're actually gonna go to work right now and and fix her face <laughs> um hopefully we don't come back looking like joan rivers if you know what joan rivers looks like you understand the pain uh <laughs> but we won't go there uh, but yeah here is the appaloosa plains hospital i'm pretty sure we've seen this before when we've given birth but i just thought i'd go ahead and show it to you guys it's actually super freaking cute right here 
we have some fountains and it's just a really cute hospital because the hospital we had before this one, I mean, you know, when this town was released, this was like outstanding. We were like, oh my gosh, it has this little middle, this median to it. So it was, it was cool. <laughs> um, ooh, cool. Andy is now a gardening level two. Okay. He harvested some pears. Um, hopefully it all goes well right now. It's taking a while for us to actually be able to get in there. Um, so I'm really hoping it goes well. Okay, so it did. We're entering plastic surgery right now. When it goes wrong, you do not have the option to enter uh, create a sim pretty much. Um, you are just cursed with uh, whatever it gives you. Um, <laughs> so pretty much it brings you to this selection right here. I can fix pretty much anything here in create a sim that typically you wouldn't get um, the option to. Um, all I want to do is probably thicken her lips a little bit, like as if she got a, <laughs> a lip job in a way. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. So, yeah, and we'll maybe make her little lip like that. And define them a little bit. And let's also go ahead and give her a little bit of a nose job. Why not? Her nose will be little, and uh, I want it to look like she had a little bit of plastic surgery. Nothing too bad, but you know. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. We can even give her <laughs> some age detail if we wanted to. We'd come in here and give her age details. We can give her beauty marks. Um, we can even give her freckles. Um, if I was to give her anything, I'd probably give her this, like, little beauty mark right here. That is super cute. Um, what about this one? Hmm. We'll give her that one. So, yeah. That is the new Bailey. Nothing too crazy. I just wanted to show it to you guys. It's a, it's a cool little neat aspect that we got from this game. Um, I do want to give her some bigger boobs. Um, why not, right? Usually. A lot of girls uh, <laughs> go to plastic surgery to get some big tatas. So why not give Bailey some big tatas, right? Let's do it. Um, so yeah, Bailey had a little bit of a facial reconstruction. Um, we just didn't want to go the cheap route and mess her whole face up. Um, the plastic surgery went very well. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and get a cheap body modification. Hopefully it does not cheap out on us. Um, I just want to show you guys, you know, the cheap and the expensive, because there is a greater chance, if we get the cheap one, that our body will come back a completely different body, <laughs> which would not be good. Oh my god! <laughs> it did go wrong! Something went horribly wrong. The surgeon must have forgotten their glasses, because they made all sorts of crazy changes. <gasps> oh no! Bailey! <laughs> <laughs> that is nuts. Your sim has a healthy appetite and has put on a few pounds. Oh no. This is not what I wanted at all. But now you guys see why you should never cheap out on a uh, body, body image. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get some corrective body surgery. <laughs> That's an option as well um, for them to correct their their mistakes. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is what happens when you cheap out. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, <laughs> I can't get over that. Um, I never saw that happen to my Sims because usually when I go for cheap, they just let go and they do okay, but definitely not this time. Um, <laughs> poor Bailey. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Hopefully she comes back to Bailey. Yes. Okay. Woo. The man, the surgeon managed uh, to find your old pri profile and get you back to your original shape. Good as new. So yeah, we definitely wasted quite a bit of simoleons, and we're not gonna go ahead and get her body done today. We're gonna wait another day. But yeah, you guys just saw it, saw it all. I don't even want to know what the face would turn out like um, if it went all wrong. I don't even want to know. Um, okay, so what we're going to go ahead and have her do, it's a Friday night, right? Yes, it is. Um, so I'm going to have her go ahead and go shower and eat some food as well. 
What up? Where's Oliver? Oliver's asleep in bed. Oliver, wake up. Come over here and eat some pumpkin pie. And uh, she's going to eat at the bar. But they're going to go ahead and uh, go get some drinks together. And um, yeah, just kind of chill tonight. And these two, I'm going to buy them each a tablet because, you know, the tablets are amazing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, where is it? Right here. The multi-tab 6,000. All right, here and there. And let's go ahead and put them in their inventory. One for you and one for you. Okay. He is going to listen to the gardening tabcast because he's working on that skill. And she's going to listen to the... Let's have her listen to the cooking one. Because her cooking skill isn't completely up, but it's close to mastering. So we'll go ahead and do that. And these two need to hurry up. Is he done eating? That bitch hasn't even gotten over to the kitchen yet. Too bad. You're not going to eat them. <laughs> All right, all of the waters. I'm very, I'm super excited, you guys. I am so excited. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I am pre-ordering a video. Okay, what is she wearing? She's wearing mom shoes with a sexy little bikini and an ugly hair. What's going on, Bailey? I did not put that on you. I definitely, definitely did not. We're going to have to change your your wear because that's just scary. Um, but like I was saying, tomorrow one of my favorite video games is going up for pre-sale. And I'm like so excited to go ahead and pre-order it. Um, it is called The Shattered Medallion by Her Interactive. It's from a series called Nancy Drew. And I'm sure plenty, plenty of you have heard it. I've been playing them for over 10 years now. So <laughs> it's like a tradition that I buy it. You know what I mean? Kind of like The Sims. Um, it's a tradition. So definitely got to do it let's head back home really quickly and andy before you go to bed or get out of bed you <laughs> look at the old couple already in bed um let's go ahead and have him uh give captain a flea bath because he definitely has fleas so let's go ahead and give him a little flea bath uh while we can give flea bath to captain waters okay so these two are going to go ahead. Okay, well, she's going to go ahead and change her outfit uh, to something normal. Go ahead and change it to your athletic wear. You'd look super, super country and adorable. There we go. So she's going to come here and order uh, single servings of nachos. And he's getting himself some uh, stew surprise. And, you know, they're just kind of going to chill for a little bit before they go to bed. Might as well, right? They're young. They don't have kids yet. Might as well. Let's go out, get some food. These two right here. He's talking about football. He's like, we need to go see that new game playing at the stadium. I definitely want to go see it. <laughs> All right. And let's order a drink as well. Let's order a llama head. And she will order... She will order a big mistake... All right, Andy is now a gardening level three. Oh, and he has fleas now. So doesn't, so doesn't ha ha Captain. We'll definitely have to give them their flea baths tomorrow because obviously Andy can't do it. <laughs> All right, so they're just going to have a drink and uh, head home. Oh, they're on a date now. Yes, these two are just going to kind of get their little drinks together and... Just head home. Nothing too crazy tonight. They're both tired. Just gonna go play some shuffleboard. Ooh. You're gonna be wasting a good drink. Don't do that. And she continues to play shuffleboard. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're gonna do it, he might as well join you, right? You're both so tired, though, so... I guess so. And she stops playing. No. Join your husband. Get in the game. Oh, I won't let you. Oh, this I'm not clicking on him. No wonder why. Join. Join him. 
She's going a little wild. She's a little juiced. <laughs> so I think the highlight of uh, this weekend was definitely Zac Efron getting his shirt ripped off. Can somebody say fucking sexy? I mean, wow, Rita Order, whatever her name is, definitely made definitely made the MTV Movie Awards that much better. You know what I mean? It was it was all the better because of her. Ripped Zac Efron shirt off. I never thought he was that cute, like, in High School Musical, but he is so sexy now. I am sorry. He is. I mean, woo! <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so I am going to go ahead and get back to you guys in the morning because um, these two are going to go to bed, and then, you know, Amber and Andy are going to wake up early, and then we'll play with them for a little bit, teaching the dogs how to do some tricks and how to hunt, all right? So I will see you guys Alrighty, guys, so it is now morning time, and um, somebody's actually not in a good mood at all. Um, we are going to go ahead and have Andy um, eat really quickly, and... Um, then he is going to give the dogs uh, some baths because he needs a bath himself, actually, because he is rather flea. Is that a word? He's rather flea-y? <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, he needs a bath. Um, okay. Oh, it's Rose's birthday. Ooh, girl. Oh, and here's a unknown C. Let's put it in Andy's inventory and uh, see what that's all about. All right, so he's going to go ahead and eat and... Uh, See, why are you in the kids' house? Stop being creepy. <laughs> it's actually hailing out right now. It's always fun, right? I've only seen hail twice in my whole life, and each time was so weird. It was so, so, so ow, actually, you know who has fertilizer? Bailey, she has horse shit. That will work. Um, like I was saying, um, oh, can we not use it? Can we not use that? Does she not have it on her? Does Bailey? Yeah, Bailey. I'm pretty sure. What do we do with it? Where is it? Oh my goodness. I'm so confused. Does she still have it? I... Amber has it, right? Yeah. She can give that as a gift. Um... But like I was saying, okay, yeah, we definitely do. Um, I've only seen hail like twice in my whole life, which, you know, it would, each time it happened, it's like, it's nuts. You know, you're like, oh my goodness. I remember one time, the first time I ever saw it, I actually went outside <laughs> and uh, watched it and grabbed some uh, little ice balls. Um, it's pretty cool. And it, the weird part of it all is it was like 80 degrees out. You know, and, oh my God, this bitch ate another one of my freaking plants. Andy, do you know what? Don't even bother cleaning it, cleaning it. Don't even bother. Oh my goodness. What a little bitch. She's eating her plants. Anyways, um, we are going to go give a flea bath to Cotton Waters and then to Mr. Captain as well. But let's go watch Amber sprinkle some shit on her plants. There we go. Now it's nice and healthy. All right, go and water that plant over there. And water that one as well. Oh, she's going to water them all. <laughs> all right, so are these two almost awake? No. They're still asleep. All right, Mr. Andy, are you actually going to give Cotton a bath or are you going to stand like that? Completely up to you. All right, so these two are going to go have a nice bathy. Because it is so, so needed. It's crazy bad. All of them have fleas right now, and that's no good. Um, You know what, Amber? Oh, that's what happened overnight. One of the squiddles died. Squiddle number seven, actually. So we need to clean squiddle number seven's cage. And this is squiddle number what? Eight. So this is squiddle number nine. We actually need to clean all the terraniums this morning. Then I think we're going to go visit the, um, not, we're going to go visit the sun. <laughs> we're going to go visit Cole. Um, 
All right, so yes, squirrel. Why can't we do this? You know what, we'll do it in a little bit. But we're just gonna make sure this is all okay. We're gonna feed Patty and clean Patty's cranium, clean, clean, clean Skittles and fill Squiddle's food bowl. And we're going to uh, fill Izzy's food as well. All right. Or is, is cotton all clean? Cotton is flea free. Awesome. All right, Andy, now you need to give Captain one as well. All right, let's go ahead and do this really quickly. And then we are going to go visit Cole's new place and kind of see what he is up to. Um, let's see, let's find his home. I have no idea, no idea whatsoever where he moved. Um, has to be in here somewhere. Which one's close with Cole? Right here. Andy is. He's right here, right? Yes. Oh, Cole is out at the moment. Well, that's okay. Your mom's just going to stand right outside the front door until you answer. He has a hella nice house. What? That boy worked at the grocery store. What happened? His, um, I hate when you kick them out and they have like the nicest house in the whole town. You know what I mean? It's not fair whatsoever. But his mom's just going to wait up front and creepily open all his garage doors and just wait for him to come home. Come on, Cole. Come home, boy. No, stay. Stay out here and wait for your son. Oh, he has a dog. Oh, that's dainty. I'm pretty sure all grown up. Whoa. <laughs> um, no, stay here. Stay here. <gasps> dainty. Oh, here's Dainty. Oh, come back, Dainty. Don't leave us. Here's Dainty, all grown up. Oh, when the door shut. What a little bitch. Stay, Dainty. When she left, she was a little puppy. And now she's all grown up. Oh, we're just going to go in here? No big deal. <laughs> No big deal at all. We're in your house, Cole. Even though we're not supposed to be. That's a mom for you. I'm going to talk to her. We're going to let her sniff our hand. We're going to brush her. Aw. Aw. So cute. We're going to pet her. So cute. Talk to her. Salut. Oh, she was not having it. Is Cole home now? That'd be nice. Where is he even at? But yes, that is dainty. That is uh, Cole and Cotton's baby. <laughs> so yeah, they're... She's pretty cute. No, I know you have to pee and you're about to pee yourself. Just go swimming and pee in there. Oh my goodness! Look at Bruno swimming in the pool. He is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is nuts. I don't think they had a kid. Not yet, anyways. No, they haven't yet. <laughs> Check the family tree just in case. She's going to go ahead and swim around a little bit. Just waiting for her son to get home. No big deal. We're just going to take a swim in the pool. We're going to go inside the house. Opened up your whole garage. No big deal. No big deal at all. Amber just went swimming. Come on, Cole. Are you effing kidding me? Where are you? Where are you even? He's probably at the fall festival. Or not the fall festival. What am I talking about? I'm so off. The spring festival. He's probably here. I'm just guessing. Let's see. Who is here? Uh, I don't see him actually. It's weird. Usually they're like at the park or, or somewhere like that. But he's, he's not. Are you maybe at the dog park? Possibly maybe no are you outside of the grocery store maybe possibly no nobody's home brandy's not home he's not home why <laughs> i guess we're going to have to come back later um it's kind of disappointing Whatever, whatever. As your mom pulls away from your mansion in her sloppy jalapo. Is that him? Is that him? I'll, I'll cry if that's him. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's not. Well, okay then. 
Whatever, Cole. We see how it is. Your mom will just go home and cry her little old self to sleep. Look how she drives. She drives like all huddled over the wheel like a little old lady. That's funny. <laughs> all right. So, whatever, Coles. Um, in the next part, I honestly think I'm going to go ahead and have Bailey try for a baby with Oliver. Um, because, you know, she's an adult now. She's got some body modifications and corrections and some facial reconstruction. I think it's time. Even though, you know, she won't be able to ride the horse. That's okay. She doesn't even ride the horse that much, which is quite honestly not that good. Um... All right, so actually we're gonna end this part here. Um, in the next part, we are going to teach Captain some tricks because that is very much needed. I wanna do them all. I wanna get all the tricks done. I want to teach Cotton how to hunt. So, whew, yes, <laughs> I will see you guys in the next part already. So I love you guys so much. Bye guys.